This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh. Some of the world's finest scientific minds met at the University of Edinburgh to honour Britain's greatest living mathematician. They attended a three-day event at the University's Informatics Forum to celebrate the 80th birthday of Edinburgh professor Sir Michael Atiyah, who is widely regarded as one of the most influential mathematicians of the 20th century. Uh, well, I've, I've, since I've been to Edinburgh, I've collaborated either formally or informally with a lot of the younger people. Well, they're all younger, of course. Uh, and so that's been quite fun because there have been a lot of very good young people in Edinburgh. But as more and more people study mathematics, there's a bigger mathematical community, and there's more and more going on in the field of science, there's much more possibilities for mathematicians to be employed. There was originally in, mainly physics, and there chemistry, engineering, uh, now it's moving into uh, biology, and medicine, economics, so there's a whole range of areas. And the mathematicians are, are, are very adaptable people. They, they take the transfer their skills from one field to another quite easily. Guests included Professor Peter Higgs of the University, whose work in theoretical physics has inspired the hunt for the Higgs boson at the CERN Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland. Also among those taking part was the American mathematician Professor Isidore Singer. In 1963, Professor Singer and Professor Sir Michael devised the Atiyah Singer Index Theorem, one of the landmarks of modern mathematics. Another attendee was the eminent American physicist Professor Edward Witten. He was asked to speculate on the future direction of mathematical research. For young people who, are, who have the right talents and interests, a career in mathematics is probably the most exciting thing you can aim for, and certainly uh, I'm sure that many of your listeners or viewers uh, will want to consider that direction. As far as the uh, frontiers of mathematics, they're so broad and diverse, and so many of them are things that I know so little about, that that would really be hard to answer. The three-day conference at the university was organised by the International Centre for Mathematical Sciences in Edinburgh. Uh, at the moment, there is a big pressure for mathematicians all over the world to really be more uh, useful. And one has to be very careful with this. I mean, historically, mathematics has been contributing to engineering in many different ways. And it is, uh, in the recent years, has been contributing also even at a higher level, in the sense that since we are moving towards, uh, say, knowledge economy or where information is playing more and more role, of course, the, I mean, the discipline that can handle information as mathematics does is, of course, very much in demand. But one has to be very careful that uh, not to push the balance too much towards applications because uh, the whole history of mathematics tells that uh, really the, the most uh, applicable uh, I mean, contribution to mathematics is quite often the fundamental theorem. So one has really to keep in mind the correct balance between fundamental science and applied science. Even if mathematicians have to open their, I mean, their minds to the possibilities that some of their work is becoming uh, I mean, used in society. And that's uh, definitely an issue which uh, has to be tackled. For, I think three words for me sum up mathematics. Power, beauty and ubiquity. So in the modern world it is everywhere. It underlies um, all of engineering, physics, chemistry and so on. I mean it's, it's absolutely ubiquitous in its application. Um, it's a very powerful tool for solving all kinds of diverse problems. And um, one mustn't overlook the uh, beauty of pure mathematics which continues to inspire. And, um, it would be a, a mistake, I think, to concentrate only on the applications, important as they are, essential as they are, um, because um, people will continue to study mathematics for its intellectual, um, you know, purely for intellectual reasons, and one has to respect that. And that is, you know, today's pure mathematics is tomorrow's applicable mathematics, and so that's, uh, you know, that's an important message as well. The event was a fitting tribute to Sir Michael whose work has done so much to encourage the most exciting interaction between physics and mathematics over the years. This production is copyright, the University of Edinburgh.